Wow, wow, what a wow. Stop by looking at Sisters of Silence. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna start by looking at them, right? And we're gonna go through every single card like we did and see what's good and what's not. So, you know, let's start obviously with the three warlords. We'll go for the 30 health guy. I actually think this card's pretty good, right? So, it's only one attack, but you're in high initiative, so you're probably going first. If you're not, okay, you're going to miss out on one damage when they attack you, right? But you've got your Greater Destiny card, which is um, this. Two energy, gain plus one, plus three. So, effectively, you're a 233 warlord, I guess. Um, and then you can play this again. So, I'd say, by the end of the game, you're going to play it one more time, let's say, on average. So, you're going to be a three attack, 36 health warlord, right? Give or take, and you're gonna do one less damage then. Don't you love losing to around 12 damage for 8 energy? Yeah, look, don't worry about it, right? Don't worry about it. Um, so this was, um, I think I think she'll be good. I think she'll be potentially very good in ladder. Um, choose a sister silent imagery from your deck and draw it. I assume this ability I haven't used it is you get a choice of three from your deck and you get to pick one. I think she's very strong, but I do think she's got that turn one play that's always gonna be. I need to buff myself to two attack at least. I think that's what it's going to have to be. So, I, otherwise I think she's pretty cool. Like, I think she'll be used quite a lot. Um, I actually don't like this card. <laughs> I don't think this is good. For one, it's initiative medium when the other two are high initiative. Two, drawing a card is great for two energy, but you're Horus, but you're one less initiative, and you do have this additional effect if you end with less than five cards. So that means you, when you use this ability, you have to have three or less cards in your hand. Now, I get it if you spam out all your cards. In the late game, you can just draw, you know, five cards in one turn, and that's kind of cool. You could play this as super, like, I'm just going to dump my hand, and you have to deal with it, right? And I guess that's okay, but I just think she gets outshined by the other two Warlords, especially the Primark. This card is nuts. This card's insane. So, initiative high, 40 health, battle on it, plus one, plus two to a friendly troop. That's insane with what this faction can do. The amount of buffs and pings and stuff you can do, man, you can make some cards really strong. So, her reckoning as well is also very strong. So, um, your lord becomes the solace queen. Minus one cost at the end of each turn. Now, now that's not, not just your turn. That's your turn, then their turn, and your turn, then their turn, then your turn, then their turn, right? So it's not going to take you 10 turns to get this down to 10. It's only going to take you 5 if there's never a troop played, right? So, whatever, right? So the first couple of turns, very potentially, you're going to get this every turn. Now, it's very easy to stop. I play a Recon Claw, you don't have any anti-stealth. Looks like you're fucked, but you should be on ladder definitely playing some anti-stealth in the early game. Um, for that reason, you can't let that kill you. Um... But controlling no troops of theirs, like you can still have troops that they just can't have any. Very, I think this is very attainable, um, especially if you kind of half build around it. And then you become this, so you heal the five, sentence two automatically to the enemy warlord. That is game changing. Imagine you're fighting Angron. So that's insane. That's absolutely nuts, right? Then do one damage to the enemy warlord for one, which is effectively Erlen's ability for one. Now, what's weird, I don't understand this. Initiative medium. Initiative high. Like what? <laughs> Can you start the game as her for some reason? Why? Did, why is this? Hit? Why did this change? I don't understand why this has changed, but it has. I assume that might get patched out later. But you know, it's funny. Um, otherwise, I think she's very, very strong. Um, the next card we're going to look at first off is uh, is um, their counter attack. Now, their counter attack is probably one of the strongest in the game. Plus one, plus one to a troop any troop that's nutty that's actually nutty uh yeah she's strong have through an event with her yep so i think she, uh i think you left your voice bed hope yeah i mean i literally got out of bed 20 minutes ago i'm also trying to be a little bit quieter because my lovely girlfriend is over there napping so we're gonna be a little bit low energy this stream which i think is fine you can have a low energy stream also, hi YouTube, this is going directly onto YouTube because we're going through all the cards. Um, but yeah, this is one of the most powerful account attacks right up there with stun an enemy. So, again, I guess the two main warlords are high initiative, so, you know, ASMR heresy. Yeah, the two main warlords are high initiative, so it's more unlikely that you're going to get this unless you're versing in a matchup where they're also high initiative, and so it's kind of like you're a bit out of the sorts with it. So I understand why it's strong. Um, rate it. Alright, let's go buy their cards. Um... 
Cadre Tactics. Give plus one, plus O to your units. I don't think this will ever be used because, um, and like, cool, and it's units this turn, so it does give it to your Warlord, but it's just a waste of a card, I think. I think it's just a waste of a card, unfortunately. If it was like a 3NG troop that did that, yeah, cool. Give plus one to a friendly unit this turn. Again, if this ability was zero, it might be cool, but otherwise this is a bit slow. Like a one drop, one three is okay. No, not useless, there's an OTK combo. Well, that makes sense, yeah, but like, I don't know if OTK is gonna be the way to play these guys. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but again, like, whatever. Um, Pale Scourge, do one damage to all enemies or three if they have suck. I mean, this is a tech card. You know, this is a, oh, I'm in a tournament and I know I'm versing Sackers. Oh, I know that um, Magnus is everywhere at the moment. I better play this. So, you know, I guess that's fair enough. Um, Jam and deal two damage to a random enemy trip, to be honest. This is also a techie card. Like, if you know there's a lot of Lehman Rust in or um, stuff that you can't target, a lot of stealth. I guess this is your anti-stealth card, isn't it? And it is jam first, jam and deal two damage to a random enemy troop. So this could be their anti stealth card. You know, yeah, good anti stealth. Yeah, so I yeah, I rate this card. I think it's very good. Um, this card is in this deck because I another card spawns. So two drop two three with Terra and better against Psychers. Again, like it, it's two energy for Terra. The only reason why it's even better is it has Terra because of the plus two. So whatever. I think like I think it's a bit of a whatever card. Uh, final sacrifice destroy friendly sister silence trip and a random enemy troop this is amazing because if you compare it to the custodians one where that's a four energy card destroy and that is a friendly troop you can destroy to destroy a random one of theirs or if you compare it to the three drop from world eaters that is the same thing destroy a friendly troop and a random enemy troop so worse than the kill card right absolutely it's worse than the kill card absolutely but in terms of um like, it, it's, it's, it's there if you're playing a very spammy sort of deck with um, what's a face and you could just keep drawing, it might be worth it. And it's, it's Sister of Silence Trip, so you can't combo with a draw card, like the ones that when they die you draw, so maybe maybe not going to be played, but who knows. Um, Oath of Silence, give plus 3 plus 0 to a friendly unit this turn. That, this card's nuts. Plus 3 plus 0 plus, for 2 energy. And that's a really insane rush, and it's unit. You can give it to your Warlord. So it makes it even more like you need to push for that last bit of damage, right? Very strong. If you compare it to the four drop that gives plus four and draws you a card from Knights. Or Kabanda, which gives you plus two as well. Um, so, you know. Exactly. This is this is exactly right. Like you, you play this, you give it to this Warlord, you're killing a trip and buffing a friendly thing. Right? So, pretty insane there. Pretty insane there. Um, Steel Foxes. The way I think of this card is that it's a worse um, version of this. Deal two damage to an enemy and stun it, right? Like, this will deal two damage to an enemy and stun it. Only it gets through, it doesn't go through frontline, but it does go through um, ward. So, you know. Unless you're right, you can invest other cards in it. And that's cool, but um, otherwise, yeah, I see it as a lesser version of that. So, I, I mean, I, to be honest, I still play it. At the end of the day, it's a deal two damage stun card, which is not terrible. So, I uh, combine with sacrifice. So you're right, it can combine with sacrifice. Um, I think this card's pretty cool. Stun an enemy troop with higher attack than this troop. That's pretty insane, if you ask me. Like two energy, two three, stun on a stick. That's pretty good. I like this. Like it goes through stealth, goes through precog. Goes through all that sort of stuff. Pretty, pretty fucking strong. Like, I think this will be classic two drop in the deck. You know? Uh, which find is? You flank and plus one plus one to a friendly troop. I don't know if this will be played. The fact that it doesn't have draw a card on it makes it a bit rough. But plus one plus one and flank is not terrible. Maybe. It's only flank though, and there's our other cards in the deck with flank. And you can stall them out. I don't think so. I don't think so. I could be wrong about this card, but I don't think it'd be played. Cleansing Fame, three energy, deal two damage to an enemy and to adjacent units. Now this is a better version. Oh no, that one stuns, does it? No, this is this is okay. I mean, like, spread two damage for three energy. It's not too bad actually. Like, it's better artillery strike, isn't it? Yeah, this is just better artillery strike. Good card. Good card. Play this. Uh, this card's insane. Hey, look, I'm Kabanda for three energy. <laughs> It's better than the Wolf 1 2. The Wolf 1 stuns though, doesn't it? 
it stuns the warlord. And then we get to the three jobs that we can. Oh yeah, they could almost all be hit. Yeah, exactly. This this card's insane. Like, play this card. Play this card. The blood angel on stuns. Oh, okay. Um, ice serpents. This is insane. Play this card. <laughs> three energy saying I think, and it's a unit, not troop. So you can say their wall it does not can't attack, and there's nothing that gets rid of can't attack. So like, except for jam. But like, play this card. Play this card. Um, uh, rally to one damage to all enemies. This is probably one that won't be played because there are so many other good three drops. Now the reason why I like this card is because it combos with her effect, the plus two plus one. So if you play it on three energy, they might have a two back on field, deals one damage to it. You swing at it, and now is a um, four five. Not bad, not bad. Um, insane. This card is nutty. Again, you play it. Your wallet has three attack. You swing at a thing. You kill it. It becomes a five four. Like, oh, nuts. Nuts, this card's great. Like, there's a. I'm pretty sure there's a. Um, three drop in this that does a very similar thing, but is a tactic. Right? Yeah, you all get Seek Attack and plus one. What's happening here? We're, we're doing a video. Challenge me after. Um, so, yeah, it's this, but on a stick. So, um, very, very strong very strong then we have this guy again I think this card's pretty strong you know like gem any troop damage by this unit unfortunately the one thing that's holding this unit back is that it will deal the two damage before jamming so that could really hamper this card um, because they've got you know other things that will do the same sort of job like this this jams then deals two damage so you know, but I mean, it is very defensive. If things need to swing out, and they're going to get jammed and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, maybe it'll be played, but there are so many. Like, you're definitely playing two of these. You're definitely playing two of these. You're definitely playing this. Um, you're potentially playing two of these. Like, there's so many three drops already in the deck, plus probably due back, that I don't think there's room for it. Um, Coop the Grace. This card's great. <laughs> Combo with Laz Rifle. This card's strong. Yeah, that's, that's this video. They're very strong. But I don't think they're overpowered strong. They're definitely better changing because of all the jam. But I mean, I think they lose to tactic based decks. Like, I would say Magnus kills them, but they're anti psyker But things like, I think Perturabo will just wreck them. You know? But that's okay. But yeah, the fact that this also draws you a card, very good. It's like so cheap and draws on a kill. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know if this card will be played because it feels like a win more card. <laughs> if your opponent has no troops, gain fast. Four drop six one. I mean, I guess you could, if they even if they just have troops on the field, you can just kind of play it and have a six one for four. I guess, but I just think I don't know. It feels like it's taking up space. You know, it is six damage for four, but I think. I guess you could just play, but I feel as if there's better cards to be playing at that stage. And I get it's a good endgame card if they kind of like draw you out, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, Sisalize Troops plus two, and yeah, I mean, this is, um, this is the seven drop of better. What's the seven drop uh, from, um, this is this, but basic, oh, I guess this is all enemies. This is damage to all enemies instead of random. Three energy less, and as long as they don't have a full board, you're fine. So, I think I'm only missing one, everyone who I don't think so. Yeah, it's true. So, like, if, if you can flood, this card's end game. This card will end games. Uh, Counter attack base decks because of her reckoning, yeah. They're strong, but thankfully not tears busted. I agree. I agree. Hey, Phil. Um, this card, I think, is very strong. A 4 energy, 3, 5 front line that has an ability to deal 3 damage to things, or if you buff it even more. I think this card's very strong. Isn't this a card from something else? For some reason, I remember seeing this card before. Like, another card spawns it or something. Was this card previously in the game? The White Scars Hero. Oh, 
What do you mean? The white scars here. In event, ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. The white scars card in event. You, you're correct, you're correct. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Um, four drop, four, three, deal two damage. If the target is a vehicle or target weapon, deal three additional damage. Look, it pings for two. Not terrible to four, three, but again, I think it's on the weaker side compared to the other stuff. Yeah, okay, the fourth wheel, okay, that's fair. I mean, like, it's pretty good, but I think it definitely gets outshined by, like, oh, maybe really not. Like, this card's insane, but, like, in the fact, the pink for two is nice. It's like a mechanic of the four, yeah, but it's better, because it can deal three additional damage to vehicles and stuff like that, yeah. You're right. Um, the wall against battle on a hill, too. Now, this card, I think, is pretty good, specifically with this card, because of the her battle on her effect already. Now, it's probably good with the others, maybe her if I can buffer a couple times. But, um, I mean, imagine getting battle on a heal 4. That's pretty strong. White Falcons. Rally if there is an enemy with higher attack, gain sneak attack this turn. <laughs> pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. Play this card. This card. This card 90. This card 90. Man, I got a runny nose today, and I apologize. Um, play this card. Um, Capture Saka, 5 drop 7 7, Relentless, if you don't control another troop gain and can't attack until you're next to it. Meh, don't play it, not good. Unless you're gonna jam it, I don't think it's good. Like, cool 5 drop 7 7, but there's so many other better things. 5 drop 4 5, why well, don't play Chaos Tactics cost one more, whatever. Put in play Nova Sisters now, the Nova Sisters is... Um, who's the no uh, these guys. It puts in two of them. Like, maybe? That's okay. Like, putting in play two, one, threes with an ability? That's, I mean, it's, it doesn't cost anything, so, like, could be played. I, I kind of see it being played. This card's a kill spell on a stick. They have something big on the field, you play this, it dies. Don't get, don't get confused, though. If this is your only five drop, and you have to play a five drop, just play it, you know? Because you definitely need something on the field, and a five drop six three is not bad. So, I'd probably play it, but, yeah. Uh, which seeker destroy from the trip that deal Excuse me, this combo is very nicely with this. I'm gonna keep sporting some nervous sisters And I'm gonna keep dealing five damage to the enemy wall. So that's kind of cool, but you can also just swing for five um, Six drop rally draw three for each sister of silence drawn heal two to your units. Oh, I mean It's only a three three for six. I'd like it to see at least be a four four or something. It's very hard to trade out a 6 energy 3-3 three, three with whatever they've got. But the heals are nice. The heals are nice. And drawing 3 is pretty good, so, you know, play it. Uh, this card, 6 drop 3-3 three, three again, put in plays the 2-3 with Terra. So, where the 3-5 on the lane is literally... Yeah, exactly. Um, I like... I think I like this card. It floods. It floods. And if you can combo it with... So, this, this puts in play two of these right and then if you combo it with this that's a lot of damage so i see it i see it um put and play two jackals give them plus one uh give plus one plus one to your cyber jackals that's all of them so if you play this in a previous turn and then you play this that's pretty good that's pretty good because it gives the other ones plus one plus one as well not bad not bad Stealth, Sacrifice, put in play a Captured Sucker. I mean... Maybe? This is not... I mean... It's a 5-4 for 6. Yeah, it puts in play a 7-7, seven, seven, but you need other troops to make that 7-7 seven, seven or something, you know. Conditional draw isn't great, yeah. yeah I mean, you're right, too slow. Could vent other than that, yeah. Um, this card's nuts. This card is insane. It's um, Endurance, which is probably the best board wipe in the game, but instead of healing you, it refills your energy. Now, to be honest, that refill of energy is not going to be that great. The way I see being used, it might give you two energy back at most, most of the time, in which you would use to draw a card with your Warlord ability or something like that. Or it's probably good if in the late game, if you have 10 energy, you play this, you get two energy back, you play a six drop. So play this, you know, and the five damage for psychers. The annoying thing about that is that is specifically designed to kill ore and to kill Penthu. The three five and the five five legendaries. That's exactly what that's designed to kill. 
and that makes me mad because I like Arm and, and now he's going to be worse because of this card. <laughs> you know. The Carl into the Carl of... Yeah, if you get two kills, that's exactly right. Um, this card... Rally removes stealth and precognition for all enemies. The fact that it also removes precog is pretty insane. Um, I think this is a pretty good one-off for the late game to remove stealth of things. I don't know if you want to play more than just the one because you should be playing anti-stealth in the early game as well. I thought D-Sets was the best card in the game. Shut up. Um, could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I think playing two of this might be too much. Um, so this is a 7 drop 5-5, five five, but really it's a 7 drop 6-6 six six that buffs all the other stuff as well, because it gives itself the buff. So by the end of the turn, it's a 6-6, six six, right? Um, very strong. I like this play, this card. The fact that its ability is resolution means that if you have anything on the field, um, you're going to get some some value, some value. Um, this is insane. Play, play this. You reckon this is too slow? That's fair. Play this. Jam and stun all enemy troops. Deal three damage to all demons. Forget about the deal three damage to all damage. Jam and stun all enemy troops. Jam and stun. Anti stealth, anti precog, anti ward, anti everything. Like, imagine doing this and then into this. Like, hells yeah, right? But you also do this, right? This, oh, sorry. Right. But this also, you're right. This puts you into this. Like, hells yeah. Um, well, let's look at Frozen Heart first, right? Backlash, put in play, and uh, Knights and Shuri return to your hand. It's an 8-drop 4-4. Four, four. Like, mm, they've got so many cards that are just 6-drop 3-3. 3-drop 3-3. 8-drop 4-4. Three, three. Four, four. Like, ugh. That's hard, that's hard. And it puts in play a Knight Centurion, which is this guy. Yeah, cool. But, like... I wish it was Rally. If it was Rally, it might be okay. You know? But I was, yeah, too slow. You're right, I agree. Um, play this card. Say hi to the Emperor. Play this card. Destroy all troops. Deal three damage to the wall for each friendly troop destroyed. Yeah, play this card. Play this card. Just, just, this one. Do it. Play it. Very good. Very good. Very, very, very good. I'm just going to swing the face with everything. Oh, look, some things survive. Let's blow up the board and deal some extra damage. Nice. Play it. Um, play it. End game, flank, kill anything. Um, if this ends up surviving for whatever reason because you kill something small, get plus two to the other users to play it. Play it. Um, at least a one of, I reckon, in the end game. Just to be able to go, um, I'm a kill spell and a stick, basically, just in case. Just in case. Um, <laughs> I want to play this, but I think it's too end game. I keep thinking this has eight health. Yeah, and, and it's only six health, which is, is kind of what's making me so. Yeah. Um, if you want to go for a vehicle build and play um, supply lines and get this reduced by two to play it on seven, it actually might be okay. If you can, if you're going to play supply lines, play this. If not, I think nine energy for this table might be too late. It's got stealth. Nine drop eight nine with stealth is actually probably pretty good, but you know, it's another rate. Yeah, it's fair. Like I just don't like getting this off supply lines would be very strong. If you can play Doombringer in this, maybe, maybe. Um, this card I really like, but it's 10 energy. Does this card compete with Desperate Defense? You know? Is that what, does this... Like, Flank and Terra for 9 attack is pretty good, and it heals your 5 to your Warlord, and that can be pretty clutch, right? But the question is... Does this compete with Desperate Defense? And the answer is sort of. If they play Desperate Defense, you're going to kill one of the things. And then they probably have to swing back into this. But, yeah, you're right. Nine attack is great. Because a lot of stuff they have is like Doombringer or, um, uh, yeah, like there's a lot of stuff that it, but I mean, like there's also some other stuff that it trades out with or doesn't quite kill. Like, if you think the Chimera tank, the one that says your tactics cost more and stuff like that. So, like, I don't know. There's a lot of 10 attack things as well with shield, but it does kill a lot, but there's also a lot it doesn't kill. So, the fact is though, I think these guys have enough stuff to kill Desperate Defense anyway, it's meaning you. This this is NTDD, so. Um, and that's them. That is them. Overall, um, I think they're very strong. I think once everybody has them, they're going to be pretty meta-defining. It'll be like a, um, like Angron. Like, if your deck can't beat Angron, you shouldn't really be playing it. 
because Angron's just kind of everywhere, right? Or Khan. If your deck can't deal with that with the token red deck, you shouldn't really be playing him because the red deck will eventually get you. Same with these guys. If your deck relies on not being jammed or not being stunned, basically, you can't play it because these guys will be always be around. So it, it, I think it'll bring out a lot more on the thing. I really don't like it because I like Harriman and now he's going to be worse. This destroys Morty. You can't play Morty anymore, you know, <laughs> like... Because goodbye to Death Shroud, effectively. So, alright, this has been flashing for a while. So let's do this real quick. Okay, um, let's see how this goes. I might keep this. Here's my taste. Here. Oh, what, white Sky Supplies wanted from White Sky's troop based deck. Yep, I agree. Very, very good, Malkator. We're not playing Legions today. We're not doing it. We're playing Turner Boy from his tax evasion. That's what's happening. Is that so? Why does she speak? She shouldn't speak. I guess she speaks into your mind. Um, you can go. Can I not get just fucked over by pings? Okay, I'm just getting fucked over. Bile is calling. Bile is calling. So, Alright. We'll play one game with Bile after this. One. Too much jam for Bile, that's true. Okay, so we're gonna play this. I'm gonna do this. Man, okay, so three out of four of them have hit me so far. And then, okay, well, all of them have hit my troops so far. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want, guys. That's ideal. Should have played Ironman. Okay, I'm cool with that. That's fine. The fact is, I'm just getting fucked over by pings. Come on, really? That's insane. Not a single ping has hit her. Not a single one. Are you ready for me to play this and this not to get hit? And then for him to jam it? Because I am. That's in This is insane. This is insane. What's with these pings? Oh my god. Everybody's seeing this, right? Everybody, like... There's been eight pings, six of them have hit me, two of them have hit my troops. That's actually nutty. Like, it's actually the nuttiest. That was a mistake. If you had attacked that first, the other thing would have got a sneak attack. Um, I mean, we definitely have to attack. This is actually nutty. This is actually the nuttiest. Like. I'm not the only one seeing this, right? Like, this game would have been over if half the pings hit her. Eight of the... I think eight of the ten pings have hit me? Like. This is actually crazy. I can't believe that's how I've lost this game. I can't believe it. I mean, this has to swing at that, right? That sucks. Like, this is so bad. Like, I've literally, like, imagine if I, if eight of the pings hadn't hit me. 
literally have eight less health than like four less health than what I should have. I can't believe that I lost that game to luck. Otherwise, I won that game. I in my soul won that game. That's what happened there. That's what happened there. We're gonna play one game with Bile. Oh wow! Wow! Wow!